he said that before. <laughs> Time or two. I wanted to share something with you while that's going around. <laughs> Boy, she's just so excited. Well, I have about six that I wanted to share. I know none of them are ringing true for me right now. Can I tweak your minds a little bit? This is from Ecclesiastes. If you want to know about financial flow and financial benefit, check out Ecclesiastes. It's awesome. But I want to read to you from Ecclesiastes 5. If you see oppression of the poor and denial of justice and righteousness in the province, or in the world you live in, do not be shocked at the sight. For one official watches over another official, and there are higher officials over them. After all, a king who cultivates the field is an advantage to the land. He who loves money will not be satisfied with money, nor he who loves abundance with its income. This too is vanity. The New Testament, Jesus says, um, or, um, Timothy, says the love of money. The last chapter of Timothy, verse 10. It's the, for the love of money is the root of all sorts of evil. And some by longing for it have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many a pang. But here's the deal. Money is a factor of life. We have to have it. We have to be financially uh, supported in this world. That wonderful fine line between, again, letting it be your servant and not being a master of it. Uh, we talk about, you know, people sometimes get in a job that they hate and they're stuck in it and it becomes golden handcuffs. If you have golden handcuffs, then there's energy and effort to be placed in another direction for you. And when this other direction becomes abundant, you'll be able to walk away from the golden handcuffs. Because the golden handcuffs hold you and keep you bound because of the choices that we make to keep ourselves financially indebted, financially bound. It becomes our master. But when we can move into a different state of being, we're freed from that, and we can make some different choices. I have a very brief guided meditation I'd like to take you on. Um, there's chairs over here. You, could, you don't look comfortable sitting, standing in the back. But if you'd like, otherwise, there's chairs in the back room. You can bring them in. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, there he goes. And he's out. Poor little guy. Bye. So I want to take us on a guided meditation and I want to do a healing on our, uh, on our finances. All right? Sometimes they need a band-aid. All right. So take a deep breath in and allow yourself to become really centered in the core of your being. Take another deep breath in. <coughs> And exhale, finding yourself more and more centered, more and more balanced. Do you need something, Phil? Oh, did I forget to turn the lights on? Yeah. 
It is from this core of our being that the master-servant relationship between money is locked or unlocked. Get into that core space and allow yourself to be willing to unlock that. And to help that, let's go on a little guided meditation. Let's go on a little journey. I'd like you to find yourself on a pathway to a castle. And the castle is in the distance. And it just takes no effort whatsoever to get there. Notice if the drawbridge is up or the drawbridge is down. If If it's up, ask for it to be lowered and it will. If it's already down, walk on across the drawbridge and allow yourself to go into the courtyard. And you're met with a guide. The guide meets you here. Notice what kind of clothing the guide is wearing, whether it's common clothes or clothes of a nobleman or something out of uh, the history or past, if he's dressed like today or dressed in glowing white robes. Whatever you experience is what is right for you in this moment. And this guide is going to take you to the banquet hall. And a feast has been prepared. And as you enter this banquet hall, Allow yourself to feel a deep sense of gratitude. A deep sense of gratitude. Gratitude greases the wheels of divine intervention. (coughs) There is so much here you could never eat it all. I know that that has been prepared for you. You are an honored guest. And now allow, your guide is now going to take you to another room. And in this room, there are many locked boxes. And you will find the one that is yours, that is right for you. And only you have the key. So in your awareness, create for yourself this key. Perhaps you're wearing it on a a chain around your neck. Perhaps it's on a rope around your wrist. Perhaps it's in your shoe. Perhaps it's in your pocket. Wherever you experience this, just what is right for you in this moment. And unlock this box. (coughs) Inside this box is a beautiful gift that is yours to have. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling, or perhaps it's a symbolic object. It will help you know what your destiny is all about. Again, feel that rich sense of joy and gratitude as you receive that gift. And you can take that with you and know that this is a part of your journey. It's a blessing for you. And before you close this and lock this back up again, leave a, a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic gift that sets you free from being a slave <coughs> to finances and allows you to be the master over your finances. Whatever word or thought or symbolic object that might be, and place that in the box. And by locking that box, you lock that in. And it becomes a 
a new state of being for you. And with that accomplished, you turn and face your guide. And this guide has a gift for you as well. Perhaps it's a garment of clothing, a robe, perhaps it's a piece of jewelry, perhaps it's a word or thought or feeling or some other symbolic object. You receive that from this guide and this is symbolic of your next step, what will help you in your next step. So receive that with gratitude. And as you step back out into the hall that has all that wonderful food prepared for you, this is a feast prepared for you. This is just a small sampling of the divine abundance that is ready for you when you are ready for it. You have a right to it. It is your divine blessing. And now this room is, begins to fill with people that are here to support you and encourage you, and give you guidance and direction and encouragement along the way. Perhaps it's family and friends. Perhaps it's angels and guides. Whatever you experience is what is right for you. And now take the gifts that you received, the gift that was in the box, and the gift that your guide gave you, knowing that you can release what you put in the box, let it be there, you don't have to carry that with you anymore, and know that you are receiving a beautiful healing on your finances. And allow yourself to Say goodbye to those that are here to help support you, encourage you. Say goodbye to your guide. Allow yourself to walk past the tables laden with so much. Know that you can come back at any time. Walk back through the courtyard, out the castle doors across the drawbridge and back into this time and space, back into this physical form, back into the here and now. Take a deep breath in and exhale. <coughs> wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and welcome back. <coughs> Thank you to our video people watching. Glad you're here. Have a great week. <coughs>